Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a new video to talk about the latest version of Google Chrome. Google Chrome had been on a pause of updates but they had mentioned that on April 7th the upgrade process to the new versions of the browser would actually start again. Well, Google Chrome 81 has arrived. It was released late yesterday and I wanted to try it a little bit before talking about it. So it's 81.0.4044.92 that we are right now. It's available for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, and it's available also for Android and iOS in these updates, but of course has more features on Android. So how do you know if you have the latest version or how do you upgrade? Simply go to the upper right corner in the three vertical dots in your Chrome browser, go on help, Go on a pad Google Chrome and here you'll see it update if it's not done already. So what is new in Chrome 81? Well, first of all, uh, they've actually started rolling out the NFC for mobile. So if you're on mobile, near field communications is used to do transactions. Like for example, if you actually use Google Pay, you know that you can actually just put your phone near a terminal and that's the NFC kicking off. So near field communications is uh, a way to pay for some, uh, some, you know, things you buy at the store, but now near field communications will also work with sub web content. So this is of course still in a trial, but it, uh, for some of you, this might actually be possible. They also have augmented reality support that is now increased in, more, in, in everything that is uh, web. So if you have a uh, augmented reality device, the new API with the web XR uh, device API will bring virtual reality to web content. So this is still being tested also, but it's starting to show up in some of you uh, that have some of these devices. Now, one of the biggest problem with HTTP and HTTPS is that Google is pushing everybody to go to HTTPS, but the problem is it has to deal with mixed content. So uh, even though they say that 90% of Chrome users spend over uh, um, you know, HTTPS websites most of the time, 90% of the time, it still isn't done and the latest push is that uh, of course there's a plan to try to you know slowly get everybody on board HTTPS, which is more secure, and of course can prevent men in the middle attacks, and that's one of the things that they of course wanted to make sure that you know. So of course uh, when you go to a website and click the little um, site information, you will always have connection secure, and what is uh, the default of the different um, HTTPS pages. So you can, of course, uh, slowly, you will have what is called site um, mixed sites or mixed scripts. And basically, Chrome will slowly start telling you that a website that is not secure is not going to be there or not going to show up. It's a security issue. But it will give you in that um, place, in that little icon here where you have the menu, you will have site settings. In the site settings, you will be able to actually tell uh, what site you want to unblock uh, mixed reality. And of course, this all has to do with everything that is um, security. So this is where all of this is going to happen and you're going to actually have the possibility to unlock mixed reality sites through this new setting. So don't be surprised if some websites start telling you that there are some secure issues because this is going to uh, be more and more prevalent over the next few versions. Also a good way to push everybody into HTTPS secure content. Like many other browsers, TLS 1 and 1.1 is going to be uh, deprecated, transport layer security. These are old protocols. I mean, 1.0 is from 1998 or something like that. They have security problems. 
So uh, they are deprecated slowly here. So if you have websites that do this, that still use these old uh, SSL and TLS layers, uh, you might have more problems. And finally, um, Chrome 81 is also rolling out for other uh, platform. If you um, wonder why you should upgrade if you don't really care about these updates, it's the security side of things. Lots of high impact security flaws in here. So you need to make sure that you actually uh, get into this uh, new version of uh, Google Chrome if you want to stay safe. Um, you know, high impact means that maybe bad guys are already exploiting the content. So uh, make sure that uh, you check it out. And there's a lot of security fixes actually in here. So that was a quick look at uh, what Chrome 81 has in store. Hope you enjoy our videos. Please subscribe if you do. And thank you for watching.